Weekend is an emotional one for the families who lost loved ones in the Uvalde school tragedy. Tomorrow marks seven months since the mass shooting, and Christmas is the very next day. Tributes continue to pour in for the victims, including 10-year-old Amory Jo Garza. News 4 San Antonio's Amanda Henderson explains how it's helping her family find peace. The power of art is sometimes beyond words. Everything is important, especially the little things. It's those little things Dora Mendoza will remember for a lifetime. She was always constantly, you know, at home, either drawing or doing little things with her clay. Mendoza is talking about her granddaughter, Amory Jo Garza, one of the 21 people killed at Robb Elementary in May. The 10 year old is known as a hero for trying to call 911. She wanted to be an art teacher. Now her art will always be part of the city she called home. I have to come daily in the mornings, at night. I'm here, I cry with her, I miss her. It's the labor of love. A labor Amory's mother, Kimberly Garcia, says wouldn't have been possible without an army of support helping fund the project. It means a lot because I know that there's a lot of love and support out there from people and people care, and there's a lot of good people out there. Each piece you see was carefully chosen. So I definitely, um, for sure, wanted her clay um, art to be on there. Something that she had started the same month um, that she had passed and then her abstract, because I just feel like it, I feel like you have to have a lot of patience doing that, and she was just, just very good. It's a bittersweet reminder of the Classroom 112 hero. We love that she's up there. I mean, don't get us wrong, but we just, we really, really wish she was here. So she should it's, be here. It's, it's just hard. An emotion the holidays further complicate. We won't ever be complete. I guess our, for Christmas, we're going to be in our own, I guess for the next week or so, we're going to be in our own little world. I know it's going to be difficult this time of year. They hope this memorial will inspire people to follow their dreams while honoring a life taken far too soon. I mean, it's very hard for us to have a simple conversation without breaking down completely and just feeling like we're back to day one. But at the same time, we know that if nobody tells Amory's story and nobody tries to make something happen, well then it's not going to happen. I make it a priority to, you know, make sure that everyone knows who she is and what she loved and just, you know, everything about her. She was amazing. Reporting in Uvalde, I'm Amanda Henderson.